I quit. I am done. I am tired of it. Never, ever, ever, ever will I go back. You know what? I think we have to get to that place where we say, I'm done. I will never allow myself to not be the very best physically that I can be. And I feel like when anyone starts the HCG protocol, they must say to themselves, I'm done. I believe those who do not say to themselves, I quit, I'm done, I'm not chasing this, going around this hamster wheel again, I am not doing this again. I think until we get to that place, are we going to put our whole heart, our whole mind, our whole body into this protocol? I don't think it's possible. I think we have to be done. And I am so done. I am so done. I am so done. Today, I had this moment at my desk where I told you before, there's a lot of people at my work that are obese. And I had this moment in my desk where I was thinking about what the people feel like that are sitting around eating out of the vending machine, what they must feel like compared to what we feel like when we're on P2. Granted, we have moments of hunger. Granted, we have moments of cravings. Granted, we look over and we feel like, I feel deprived sometimes. Not often, if your head's in the game. But I remember, do you know that I used to be 235 pounds? I hope to show you a picture of that sometime, you guys. It is unbelievable, 235 pounds. So, I, at my current job, I was 235 pounds. And I didn't start the job that heavy but I, over about a year, I gained and gained and gained. Anyway, so when I started HCG though, I was 198, so I had had some success getting some of it off on my own with um, walking and um, just eating better. But my head wasn't totally in the game until I started doing more research and the only reason I started doing more research was because I was done so I want people to know I feel like I want to shout from the mountaintops and isn't that why we're on YouTube we have found the cure and we just want to shout it from the mountaintops but this is not another diet is it this is not another diet this is the cure. I will never go back. I will never be the same. I am in the hospital right now being healed of my addiction to food, being healed of my problem with my weight going up and down, being healed of diets, being healed of myself and my mind being wrong. And you know what, you guys, I just want you to know that I have had some great success in my past. At one point in time, this is gonna make me start crying. I was a host on America's Shopping Channel in San Diego, California. I was 25 years old. I was the youngest host on the Shopping Channel. How did I get that job? My mind was right. I modeled. I had a modeling agent. I've had two modeling agents. I did television commercials and I have had so many smidgens of success. QVC ended up purchasing our shopping channel. So for a year and a half, I had my own five hour time slot, five days a week. And I started out at night, Pajama Panorama was the name of my show, and then I went to the daytime when the soap operas were on and I competed with them, and then I went to the very, very early morning slot because I had children. So, um, I feel like as this weight is coming off, I feel like I in becoming that person again. I am becoming that person who was doing what I dreamed to do. I went to the University of Oregon in 1980 
1981 to be a news broadcaster. I went to the University of Oregon to be a journalist. And my I partied, just about partied my way right out of there as a bulimic. And four out of five of my friends, we were bulimic. We called ourselves the Fantastic Five. And I, I can't even remember the names of the girls. I think one of them's name was Sarah. But it was so, you know, that was a long time ago. I graduated from high school in 1980 from Cottage Grove High School. So that was a very long time ago to be in Eugene, Oregon, going to the University of Oregon. And I was a flag twirler for the marching band. And, you know, everything I did was fine arts. I was taking acting classes a year later at the um, Lane Community College. So my whole life has been, I can, I am a writer, I'm a communicator, I'm a speaker. And over the years, I've written dramas and been in many dramas and been in local theater and all these great things. But I've thrown it all away because I didn't have my head right. I've thrown it all away because I compromised and compromised and compromised and compromised and because I was sick, sick in the head, sick. And so after QVC purchased America's Shopping Channel and just like that, like somebody flipped a switch, we were on saying goodbye and they were on out of Pennsylvania. We, I was in San Diego, they were in Pennsylvania, and then they were on and we were gone. 91 people that day lost jobs and they did a, um, a TV news story on our shopping channel closing down because we were purchased. And my life was so devastated because it was like I knew my dreams, my communication dreams were pretty much over. And now I had two little kids, what was I gonna do now? And so, I haven't pursued much of that as much over the years. I've done church drama and all that kind of stuff, but I have not pursued who I am. Who are you? Who are you? I know who I am. I know how I was created. I was that girl who stood on my front porch right off Main Street in Cottage Grove that stood out there through the summer in my little shorts and tank top and danced and sang Rock and Robin to whoever drove by. I was always on the stage. I was Goldilocks in Goldilocks and the Three Bears with dark brown hair in third grade. I was always like this little actress. I was always like this little stage person. I was always like this singer. I was always like this producer. I was always like this playwriter. I was always this person that was just designed to be on a stage, designed to speak, designed to be creative. And I threw it all away over the years. Now I'm 49 years old. I am 49 years old. And you know, since this HCG diet, all of a sudden I feel like I'm back. All of a sudden who I am is back. And I'm talking to my son on the phone, my son who was six months old when I started the shopping channel job. And I said, Colt, this is who he's, he's been watching my vlogs and he goes, mom, oh my gosh, you look so beautiful. And mom, you're so good at that. And blah, blah, blah. And I said, Colt, this is who I was when you were six months old. This is who I, this is what I did when you were little. This is who I was. And so you guys, how many years later? I was 25. I'm 49. Going to be 50 in a few months. How many years later am I finding that person again that I have just thrown away? That person. I don't know. I think we have to find who we are. We have to remember who we are before we allow that blanket of prison. The prison of fat that we had ourselves in, that prison where we have to wear certain clothes, that prison where you can't do anything, you can't go anywhere sometimes, and I don't know how many times I didn't go places because I felt like I was too fat. What a prison. I am out of that prison. Do you know how much my husband and I just jump up, let's go do this, let's go do that? I am so much freer now. And it's not about being skinny, it's about being free. I hope you guys are done. I hope you're done like me and I hope you're finding the real you. Gosh, this is emotional. Love you guys. Bye.